Storms yesterday evening were prompting several severe thunderstorm warnings across southeast Nebraska, including southern Lancaster County and for a time almost the uh, west side of Lincoln there. To get a severe thunderstorm warning, you need winds that are at least 58 miles an hour or some hail that could be up to quarter size in diameter. So that's what prompted several of these uh, severe thunderstorm warnings from the National Weather Service late last night in and around uh, the evening hours after about four or five o'clock and then extended until about the sun went down and in getting some storm reports to kind of confirm that that's what was going on in some of these storms just to the west of Lincoln had a couple storm reports of winds around 50 to 60 miles an hour in and around uh, Waco and Grafton and then hail that was dimed to half dollar size at half dollar size uh, report coming in around Exeter. So yeah, some hail out of some of these storms. We were under a severe thunderstorm watch for a while too until things did calm down overnight. We do have some clouds, a little bit of fog forming in spots. You can tell it doesn't look all that bad from North 48th and Cornusker Highway, not prominent, but you have had recent rain and some cooling temperatures so far this morning. So 62 degrees in Lincoln, 57 in York, 61 over in Aurora, 66 down in Hebron, just a little bit warmer just to the south of Lincoln and through portions of uh, far southeastern Nebraska. Fall City still hanging on to 66 degrees as well. Elsewhere, you see really north of I-80 temperatures cooling into the upper 50s and lower 60s just past 515 this morning. Winds for yet another day, relatively calm less than 10 miles per hour as we're starting out another morning yet this week. Clearing skies too. There were a couple isolated thunderstorms here just tracking along the Kansas border, but even those have since kind of fizzled out so far this morning. And really, Stormcast does produce some widespread fog, especially on either side of the Missouri River in Nebraska and Iowa. So something we'll be watching for this morning as we still do have a couple more hours of cooling throughout much of this morning. Something we'll be watching for. And then other than that, it should be a relatively quiet day. You see the fog burns off pretty quickly. Uh, plenty of sunshine really statewide until we get into this evening and tonight. A couple more storms are going to pop in portions of the Panhandle in southwest Nebraska that could be borderline severe. We're talking up to quarter size hail and uh, some 60 mile per hour winds with maybe uh, some scattered light rain in northeast Nebraska by tomorrow morning. But there is a marginal risk out for western Nebraska for tonight in watching for some of those storms, but it should be a relatively quiet day for us here at home. In fact, just slightly cooler uh, with some of that morning fog kind of sticking around and then those storms mainly staying off to our west. Light winds out of the east as well. So a warm day today, even warmer on Friday. You'll see it's not all that bad until we get to the weekend. Talking about those warmer temperatures, 98 on Saturday. Still looking about 101 on Sunday and 100 on Monday. Again, with humidity creeping back in, especially Sunday and Monday, it would be easy to see heat indices in and around uh, 105 to 110. So uh, something to keep in mind by this weekend. Not a bad day, though, today with plenty of sunshine and highs only in the upper 80s. You know, talking about the heat, Jessica, you wouldn't think about it, we're going to talk about football here in the next story, but you, you getting excited? Yeah, you know, oh, absolutely. Protecting those players, but I also want to <laughs> see the action. Let's yeah, get yeah, into well, it. Yeah, well, you have a chance here. Happening today. We're talking about practice, man, not a game. Yeah, the Oscar football.